Hello there, welcome to Smart Pay Cart. My name is Veena Prashant. I'm the creator of this plugin. Now, Smart Pay Cart, fondly known as SPC, is a shopping cart plugin for WordPress. It's really easy to use, very easy to set up. In this video, I'll take you behind the scenes to show you how you can create your order forms and start selling your products and services using SPC in no time. All right, so let's get started. Now, before we take a look at how we can set things up in SPC, let's talk about DAP first. Now, DAP is a membership plugin for WordPress and SPC is a shopping cart plugin made for DAP. What this means is you need to create your products in DAP, whether it's a one-off product, subscription, payment plan, free trial, paid trial. You can create all types of products in DAP and then you can create payment buttons in SPC uh, to sell those products. So here you can see this is a brand new installation of DAP. There are two sample products here. You can create new products. Click on this button to add a new product. I'm going to quickly add a new product and show you the steps. Product title, description, and free product now. This is a paid product. I'm going to go to step three and enter billing and access details. One off or subscription. This is a subscription product. Free trial, paid trial, no trial. So let's say it's $30 a month. Unlimited, save and next. That's it. Product setup is complete. Now there are other things that you can do. Uh, you can assign content that belongs to the product. You can set up your welcome email here. You can set up your sales page, error page, all that configuration here. This is the regular standard product setup process in DAP. I'm not going to go over the product setup process in DAP in detail. We have different documentation for that. But to just create your product in DAP first. And after the product setup is complete in DAP, you can create payment buttons in SPC to sell it. I have not yet set up any content under this product, but I'll do that later. Now let's go to SPC and set things up there. Now this is the SPC settings page. Here you can see there are two modes, live mode and sandbox mode. So first thing you need to do is enter your payment processor credentials on this page. So say that you want to use PayPal to sell your products. So then enter your PayPal credentials here. The documentation is right here and select a credit card processor. So say that you want to also allow users to pay using credit card. You can integrate SPC with Authorize.net or Stripe. So you can integrate that right here. Uh, the information is right here. It's pretty straightforward. And this is something that you just have to do once and you don't have to do it again. So once you have set this up, just go ahead and save the setting. SPC also integrates with few other payment processors, payment gateways. You can see here Razorpay, BitPay and Coin Payments as well. Next step is to create a checkout page. This is the page where your users can enter their contact information, payment information, and a complete payment. You just need to create this once and you can use the same checkout for all of your products and services. Unlike other shopping cart platforms where you first need to create your product and then you need to create a checkout page for each one of your products, you don't have to do that in SPC. You just need to create your checkout page once and then when you create your payment buttons to sell your products, all you have to do is let it know where your checkout page is. All right, so you can connect your payment buttons uh, to a checkout. If you want to create different checkout pages for different products, you can do that too, but you don't have to. Now I'm going to show you how you can create and customize a checkout page, then how you can create a payment button and connect it to a checkout. Click on add new checkout page to add a new checkout. So give your checkout page a name, click to create. SPC will automatically create a checkout page by this name in WordPress and uh, click on next. Check out with PayPal, Stripe, say that you want to use both PayPal as well as Stripe, select both. And one step, two step checkout. So SPC comes with several options. If you want to create a donation button, select this option. If you want to allow users to pay using credits, uh, this will only work if you use our Game of Points plugin uh, for gamification and to give them points. So if you do that, you can use this option. But otherwise for standard checkout, use one step or two step. I'm going to select one step, that's the default. There are several templates. You can see here, there are several uh, templates here. So I'm going to just select the first one. And you can see here, this is how it looks by default. Everything is click and edit, and uh, you can add additional elements. If you want to add a heading right here, you can do that. You can edit this text, you can change it to whatever you want to say, or you can just remove it from here. And you can also drag and drop different sections. If you want to move your order bump section up here, you can do that or bring it down here. So everything is fully customizable and it's drag and drop. And on the right, you can see display settings. If you want to get users to enter their billing information, it's not required, but if you want to get users to enter their billing information, you can enable that here. And within that, there are different fields you can turn on and off. Similarly, shipping information, you can do that too, SPC, 
also comes with fulfillment option now. So if you want to enable fulfillment on your checkout, you can do that. You can connect it to uh, something like ShipStation or Kunaki for shipment. Uh, so there are so many different options. I'm going to turn off uh, the shipping option for now and the billing option as well. If you want to increase the font size like this, you can. You can change the color as well, button color. You will see that right here. All right, it's done. You can see this is the checkout short code. SPC will automatically insert the short code on the checkout page. So if you edit this page in WordPress, you will see that the short code will be on that page. Now it's up to you where you insert the short code on that page. If you want to use your own page builder and uh, you want to design that page differently, just make sure that you have the short code somewhere on this page. That's all. It doesn't matter how you design it, what else you have on that page. Uh, just this short code needs to be there on the checkout. Now we have a checkout page, but you can't use the checkout page by itself because it doesn't know what product is being sold there. So what you need to do next is create a payment button. SPC comes with several options. Buy now, add to cart. If you want to allow users to add multiple items to the cart and then head to checkout, you can do that. Storefront, if you want to create an instant store with some of your products, all of your products, you can do that. Donation button, if you want to use SPC to create a donation button, make sure to create a checkout where type is set to donation. Otherwise, it won't work with regular checkouts. You need to create this checkout first and then create the button here and select this checkout when you create the button. Paper post. So there are so many different options. I'm going to uh, click on buy now to show you how this works. Click on buy now. It will bring you to a page like this and you can click on add new buy button to add a new payment button. Here you can give your button any name you want. Select product. So this plugin is made for DAP. Uh, it will pick up all the product details from DAP. So I want to create a payment button for this product. So I'm going to select this one. Pricing information, it's going to pick up all that information from DAP. You don't have to redefine it in SPC, but you can override some of the settings. This is a subscription product and it's set to charge users $30 a month. If you want to override the first month's price, uh, then you can change that here. You can override the initial price. Otherwise, leave it as no. Do you want to offer a free trial? Now you can create a product in DAP and uh, configure that as a free trial product. If this is not a free trial product and you want to override that as a free trial product just for this button, you can do that here. So even though this is not a free trial product, you can override the setting here and you can make it a free trial offer where users don't have to pay anything for the first month and they will be charged after that. Uh, in terms for free trial, you can set that up here. Everything is click and edit. You can change it. Payment plans, if you want to allow users uh, to make, for example, one payment of $100 or, or three payments of $30, you can add different pricing options. But just remember that every pricing option you offer here, you need to have a product in DAP for that. Now, product header, you can set this to yes, and we recommend that you set this to yes, especially for your subscription products. And so users can see the terms and you can update it. This, these are all merge tags. DAP will replace it with the right amount currency information for this product, but you can change this. You can update the text, upload image. So this image comes from DAP. I have not uploaded an image for this product in DAP. I'm going to upload one. Next, do you want to offer an order bump? Now SPC has a very unique order bump feature. It will give you so many different options in which you can do your order bumps. There are so many templates. Everything is click and edit, customizable, and you can offer multiple order bumps on your checkout, not just one. Here you can select more than one order bump offer and offer that on your checkout. And you need to first create your order bump offer in SPC order bump page. And once you create it there, you can use the same order bump offer uh, for different products because here you can just select it at buy button level. So you just have to create your order bump offers here and then select it and offer different ones for different products or the same one for different products because you can configure it at buy button level. So I'm going to just turn it off for now. And as far as coupon code and all that, if you want to offer a coupon code, you can. There are so many different coupon options. But if you want to disable it because you don't want to confuse users, if you don't offer coupons, then just turn it off and it will not show up on the checkout page. Now here is where you can connect your buy button to a checkout. So as I was saying before, you can create as many checkout pages as you want. There is no limit, but you don't have to because you can just create one checkout and use the same one for all of your products. You don't have to create different ones. So I'm going to just select this one. This is just the checkout preview. Next, do you want to attach an upsell funnel to this button? If you want to offer an upsell, then you need to first create your upsell offer in SPC add upsell funnel page. And after you add it there, you can select it here. You can set this to yes and select your funnel name here. 
and attach it to the buy button. When users complete the purchase, they will be redirected to this page. But if you don't want to offer an upsell, set this to no. So where do you want to send users after the purchase is complete? SPC will automatically log in users. They don't even have to wait for a welcome email. Uh, so you can send them directly to the member home page. But if you want to send them to a thank you page, just select the URL of the page to which you want to redirect them after the purchase is complete. Next, customize your buy button. We recommend that you just select this option. It will give you a payment link. Connect the buy button that you have on your sales page to the link that SPC gives you. So when someone clicks on the button on your sales page, they will land on the SPC checkout page where they can complete the purchase, all right? So just use this option. Select sales page URL. This is just used for tracking purposes. So select the page sandbox or live mode. If you want to test your payment button in sandbox first using your test PayPal account or test credit card, then just set this to sandbox, save the setting, and then run a test, make sure it works, and then you can switch it back to the live mode. All right, so here is the payment link. And uh, what you need to do is copy this and connect the payment button that you have on your sales page to this one. So when users click on the payment button on the sales page, it will send them to the checkout page, and here's how it looks. Uh, I'm using the first template, and I didn't really customize it much. This is how it looks by default. There are so many different options, so many different checkout pages, one column, two column, uh, so many different ways you can customize it. And everything is click and edit and drag and drop. Create the look you want for your checkout. Your buyers just have to enter their contact information, select payment method, a credit card or PayPal. If they select PayPal, when they click on place your order, they will be transferred to the PayPal site where they can complete purchase or they can enter their credit card uh, information here to complete the purchase. And that's it, really simple. So you can see here, this is our sales page for DAP. And here, all of these buttons in the pricing table, all of these are just connected to a SPC generated buy button link. If you click on it, it will send you to the SPC checkout. Let me show you that. You can see here, this is the SPC checkout page and users land here. This is the product header that shows up based on the product that they are trying to purchase. And SPC automatically shows this uh, product header based on the product that has been selected. And that's it, users enter their contact information, payment information, and they can complete the purchase. So this form right here that you see, this is from SPC, all right, just this form. And everything else on the right, on the top, you can add whatever content you want on the checkout. Just make sure that you have the SPC short code uh, somewhere on the page. You can see here, this is a page I have created using my page builder. You can add whatever content you want. Just insert the SPC short code and this will become an order form in the front end. All right, so just a quick recap. Uh, so first thing you need to do after you install SPC is go to the settings page, payment settings, live mode, enter your live credentials for your payment processor. And in the sandbox mode, if you have a sandbox account, enter your sandbox credentials. That's step number one. Step number two is create your products in DAP. Then step number three, go to SPC, manage checkout page. And uh, here it will bring up a page like this. You can create a new checkout, click on add new checkout, customize your order form, save it, and it will give you a short code at the end. And it will insert that short code on that checkout page. You don't really have to do anything else. And after that, once you have a checkout, uh, you can go to the SPC buy now button page and create your payment buttons. Just follow the steps there. You can connect an order bump offer. You can create upsell funnel and connect an upsell funnel to your payment button. You can do all of that here. When you create your payment button, everything is configurable at payment button level. So unlike other card platforms where you will have to create a different product for different offers, you don't have to do that when you use SPC. You can just create one product and create as many payment buttons as you want for the same product and use different configuration for each button, right? So everything is customizable at buy button level in SPC. And uh, also after you create your payment button, SPC will give you a payment link. Connect the payment link to the payment button that you have on your sales page. So when someone clicks on the buy button on your sales page, they will land on the checkout page powered by SPC. That's it. And if you are testing your buttons in sandbox mode, be sure that after you're done testing and switch from sandbox to live, just toggle the switch. So make sure you do this before you go live with your button. I hope this was helpful. As you can see, SPC is one of the most customizable and really easy to use cart plugin for WordPress. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please do let us know. I also have a Facebook group. If you have any generic questions about SPC, about DAP, you're welcome to post it there. If you have any support issues, just open a support ticket and my team will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome again to SPC. Bye for now.